Hello everybody, welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at factorising quadratics. Okay, so we're going to begin by seeing if we can spot some patterns. So I'd like to begin by expanding these double brackets on the screen. If you don't know how to do this yet, you should watch my video on expanding brackets before you continue with this one. Okay, so take your time, expand these, and when you're ready, I'm going to reveal your answers here. Did you get it right? So you should have got x squared plus 8x plus 15, x squared plus 2x minus 24, x squared minus 17x plus 70, and x squared plus 3x minus 40. Okay, now we're going to see if we can spot a pattern. So we've got the green numbers on the left and the blue numbers on the right. Can you see how the green numbers relate to the blue numbers? Well, what we can do is you can see that the minus 4 plus the 6 makes minus 24, and the minus 4 plus 6 makes 2. So if you multiply them, you get minus 24. If you add them, you get the 2. And this pattern actually works for all uh, the quadratics when you expand the double brackets. So you always, the green numbers add to make the middle number, and they multiply to make the last number. And you can check that works for all of them. It will work every single time. And we're going to use this pattern to factorise our quadratic equations. So here we're going to use that pattern. Are we going to factorise these three quadratics one by one? We're going to start with this one, x squared plus 10x plus 16. And you have to remember that it adds to make 10 and multiplies to make 16. So we're looking for two numbers that add to make 10 and multiply to make 16. To find those two numbers, let's write out all the pairs that make 16. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. They're all the pairs that multiply to make 16. And you should see that the pair that adds to make 10 is 2 and 8. So we get like this, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 plus 8 is 10. Now, we found those two numbers that work. We can put them into brackets like this, x plus 2 times x plus 8. It doesn't matter which way around you write the brackets, so it could also be x plus 8 times x plus 2. Okay, we've completed, we've factorised that quadratic. Let's try again, this one. x squared minus 5x minus 150. Okay, we're looking to add to make minus 5 and multiply to make minus 150. So we look at all the pairs that multiply to make minus 150. Uh, so you've got 1 times minus 150, minus 1 times 150, etc. And you're looking at finding all the pairs, and one of those pairs adds to make minus 10. Can you spot the pair that adds to make minus, sorry, adds to make minus 5? Can you spot the pair that adds to make minus 5? Yes, it's the 10 plus the minus 15. So 10 times minus 15 is minus 150, 10 minus 15 is minus 5. Okay, it really helps to write out all the pairs so you're always able to spot the pair that works for the multiplying and the add. Now we know the numbers are 10 and minus 15, we can put it into brackets like this, x plus 10, x minus 15. And that is the final answer. Finally, x squared plus 5x minus 36. Looking for two numbers that multiply to make minus 36 and add to make 5. Okay, here are all the pairs, and can you spot the pair that adds to make 5 plus 5? It is minus 4 and 9. Minus 4 and 9 make minus 36, minus 4 plus 9 uh, is 5. And so we put it into brackets as x minus 4, x plus 9. And there we have, we factored all, factorised all three quadratics. Every single time you're looking for two numbers that add to make the middle number, and multiply to make the last number. Okay, so if you feel like you're ready, you can try these practice questions yourself. So pause the video and try to factorise all of these quadratics here. It should take you about 10 minutes to do them all. So pause the video, and when you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Okay, 
How many did you get correct? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week, so remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE A Level and IB Maths, uh, so there's always plenty to see. Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.